Alright, another December finds for you guys, and this is what we picked up. I grabbed eight Sega Master games the other day from the local pawn shop. I got Shinobi, something I can't pronounce, Kenshinden, Global Defense, Pro Wrestling, Rocky, The Ninja, Lord of the Sword, and uh, one that's not in the proper case, uh, Black Belt, which is in a chalk lifter or something case. Also at our local pawn shop, we got the... I have a secret obsession with M64s, so this is my full of We got the Origin 64, no controller, unfortunately. We got the yeah, green... <laughs> with controller, so I'm super, super excited about that. And of course, they're both mine. We also got, from the same place, uh, a few 360 games to build back up my collection. Assassin's Creed, which I got for Jazz. Uh, Gauntlet Legend, or Gauntlet Seven Sorrows. I remember playing this on N64, actually. It's Gauntlet Legends, and it was fun. And Ninja Gaiden. This one we bought at Shoppers. It wasn't really a fine, but it was on sale for nineteen dollars. <coughs> and I, we both really, really love Zelda, so that was that's awesome. We got Metroid, and we got Resident Evil. So excited for that. I'm gonna go with Resident Evil. I got a badass gun. And I can't fucking wait to play with it. And I got a weenie gun. Mm -hmm. It's weird how the girlfriend always ends up with a badass shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Super scope, way better. Mm -mm, that is her. Sorry. Anyway, I also picked her up uh, Tetris 2 for SNES. trip to Moncton when we were taking my mom to her special apartment. We got some game cases from Valley Village. Uh, we picked up from a kind of retro game and everything actually, records and shit store. Got Gauntlet Legends, or just Gauntlet, sorry, in box, uh, with the poster, the manual, everything, in excellent shape. And I also ordered a bunch of these semi-hard plastic box cases. Uh, they are excellent. I got 10 of them. All my box NES games are now in them. And I just love them. Uh, that, that's all we got from Spinet, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh no, you got your belt buckle. Yeah, that's fine. We'll show that later. Yeah. Anyway, uh, at the, what was the store's name? One of the thrift stores we went to, I got Jet Grind Radio for Dreamcast. I have a copy of this, but I mean, for 50 cents, I couldn't pass it up. So if anyone needs it, let me know. We also got Burnout 3 for PS2, Puzzle Challenge, Crosswords, and more for PS2. She loves her crosswords and word games. And I also got uh, Bioshock for Xbox 360. Also, I found, honestly, you have no idea how hard these fuckers are to find. I found two Tamagotchis at one store, and two Tamagotchis at another store. So if anybody's interested or in collecting these, I have two. I lied. We got three more packs of Ninja Turtle cards with gum from Spin It. Which, by the way, we still need to reach 50 subscribers so he eats that piece of crap gum that's grown and stuff. I'm only eating the one. These three are getting tossed in, if they ever get opened. Um, what else did we get? Oh, some more eBay stuff. I got a few manuals. Dino Wars, To the Earth, Iron Sword, Wizard and Warriors 2, and Legacy of the Wizard. So those will help not quite complete some of my games. Oh, yeah. And at Salvation Army here, we got, I found this, this was buried, um, almost looks like it was purposely buried, uh, the Wii Fit Plus with game and a 
dug it out, so I just caught it out a glimpse of my eye. It was 20 bucks, 15% off. So like I said, game board and everything, and two nunchucks with it too, so $14, can't go wrong. Also got a free Wii from the pawn shop here in Miramichi. I've been doing a lot of work for him, and he's like, hey, Merry Christmas. So. And what else? Comics. Oh, yeah. This isn't really anything to do with gaming, but we found these comics from Walt Disney and they seem to be really old. Yeah. They were 69 cents. Actually, 59 cents. There's yeah. a sticker. But um, they're from the production date, or not the production date, but the copyright dates and stuff on them are... Uh, 1951 to 1978, and looking online, the closest I could find was production date for 1978, and uh, I don't know if they're reprints or not, they do look kind of old, but can't know for sure. If anyone knows anything about Whitman uh, printing and Walt Disney comics, let us know. I think that about sums up our finds for this video, so we'll see you next time. Thanks again.